Hi again folks, Carl here again from AAEC Forum, Richo71, the avatar. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since last did, last did a review. Uh, I've been out buying again and uh, I've received something uh, yesterday from uh, Phil at Mods and Atties. And uh, I spoke to him about it via Skype first, because uh, obviously Phil lives out in uh, Dubai. Uh, where it lives and works out there and uh, after speaking to him about it uh, I went ahead and took the plunge and, and bought it and this is what I'm talking about it's the EH Pro Valkyrie clone and this is how it comes in the box and close up Now, uh, as you can probably tell, I do uh, my videos with me uh, smartphone, uh, so I can't do the close-ups that these professionals do. Uh, I'll just show you as it is. Uh, I'm going to do a coil on it as well, and uh, that'll be later on uh, after I've shown you the device. But uh, on first inspection, when I open the device, <laughs> yet again uh, I mean I haven't seen any of these bad clones that people have been talking about I think the safer vapors were saying that there's some, been some bad clones lately uh, but uh, I'm, I'm yet to see one to be honest uh, but anyway let's take this out of its box now in the box you get uh, in the first little part you get a packet of O-rings, spare O-rings, and some eco wool, and a bit of camphor, uh, which I, I don't, I never use any of them that come in the box. And also, if you take the top off, you get a nice little valve pouch as well, which is nice to keep this in because. Uh, the finish on it's beautiful now there's a couple of the these clones about at the moment just recently coming out uh, some vendors are having logos and some vendors aren't me personally I like the logos uh, I just if it's if, you, if you're gonna buy one one clone uh, for me personally I want the logos on it uh, but it, that's personal preference but uh, this is the device. It's it's a hybrid dripping atomizer and battery tube, all in one. So you can't you can't take this top off and put another atomizer on it. It's used for dripping and dripping alone. So if you're not into dripping, then this isn't for for you. Uh, but it's absolutely stunning. The finish on it is superb now let me just show you the etchings first before we break it down on the top we have Valkyrie I'll show you there engraved on it and you've got the the wings down here and the serial number at the bottom is four digits on the original Valkyrie, I believe it says uh, a number of a particular number, so say 20 of, of 50. Uh, so we'll start at the top. This is 304 grade stainless steel, and it, it feels like 304 grade stainless steel in the hand. It's It's got like a, a brushed type finish but it is slightly polished and then you've got polished a highly polished ring for, where, for the bottom of the uh, atty uh, the, the top cap and the uh, and on the uh, ring on the bottom there with the serial number on that's hi that's highly polished this is slightly polished and that's highly polished but it does have these little uh, it does have the like a milled finish but although you, 
you can't you can't quite feel it but it, it's, it's stunning and then on the bottom is the logo as well now I've got a battery in this at the moment we'll start at the top this just comes off and on here you've got one two three you got three elongated uh, air holes horizontal air holes that's the top uh, I've tried a couple of drip tips in it and they fit perfect uh, I am going to buy the uh, vicious ant drip tip to go with it because I think it looks stunning the vicious ant chaplain drip tip, drip tip. Uh, so yeah you've got three elongated air holes this is either single or dual coil uh, dripping atomizer uh, I'm going to put in it two uh, micro coils I'll tell you what they are in a minute and this and with some cotton wick hopefully that's the inside quite a reduced chamber in there and I've watched I haven't owned the original but I've watched a video of the original I think Scott's I've watched and uh, it looks it looks at, you know, exactly the same I've, I've noticed a couple of differences which I'll point out to you in a minute that's the deck uh, there's a little bit of a juice well in there but uh, I've had no problems getting 10 to 15 drops in here uh, to, without I haven't had any leaks or anything like that the only, you, you might get a little bit through one of the air holes but I haven't had anything coming through there either to be honest so that's the setup. Now, on the original, I'd seen on Scott's video, uh, the centre post slightly lower, uh, so the coil sit on an angle like that. On this, with them all being level, they sit, they sit very nice for the for the air holes, rather than on an angle they sit better. So I think, to be fair, this clone uh, net positive post in the middle. Is better being like that than on the original where it sat lower. I'm, you know, I'm no expert on dripping, and some people might say differently. But I think, uh, from a coiling perspective, that's it. That seems better. So you haven't got to start trying to level out your coils when you're putting them on, because all the all the posts and the holes are in line with each other. The it's Phillips head screws. And they're all stainless steel in there. They're not chrome plated screws. They're all stainless steel. Double O ring affair at the top. And it's it's a it's a nice fit. Very nice fit. But on the once you push the top cap on, the bottom doesn't turn, this turns instead. I'll show you there. This turns instead. So this isn't turning here. This bit. That this this top cap turns itself and there's there's one of the air holes and you can close the air hole off off to as much you can have it as wide open or as little as, as possible uh, so if you wanted a very tight draw with a single coil so you can get a mouthful to lung uh, hit uh, you can do that with this now it's got I mean the markings on here are superb. It is. The lighting's terrible. I have to try and get a better camera. But you can you can see it on there. I mean this serial number as well is three two eight one. So three thousand two hundred and eighty one. It's got a reverse threaded locking ring. And it's it's superb. Lock. It unlock. Lock. It's just a couple of turns. The button. It's fantastic. You hardly got any throw there at all. It's beautiful to to use. Absolutely beautiful. And you can you can press it anywhere and it will fire. 
when you go to the edges it starts being a little bit thingy but a little bit crunchy but not much um, but it's the throw on it's that small that you can press it anywhere and uh, it's got a nice spring in there so I'll take the bottom cap off and this is where one of the that's the inside there's a screw inside there but I wouldn't go messing with that because that's for you positive connection that screw is so there you go and the finish is the finish is superb on it so that's that now this is where the difference is from the original it's got a brass connection which is reverse threaded but adjustable so you thread it anti-clockwise to go in and clockwise to come out so that aids in when you screw the the whole switch assembly up that that's not when it when the, when it makes contact with the battery it's not unscrewing with it as you tear as you as you screw it up as you tighten it up and um, I won't take the switch apart uh, because there's not much in there to be honest there's a spring in there and a dowel ring uh, I think I watched a twisted video where he had taken it bit apart and I'd seen inside it anyway and that's another part I like about it that's the brass thread that the uh, contact pin goes into threads into and the threads on the on on the device are superb as well they're fine but they're not overly fine the threading there's no I've had no beers or anything like that on it so you just have to remember to unscrew to tighten to, to get if you, if you know what I mean unscrew to tighten in now inside there is a nice spring and the the switch is held together with a circlip inside there which I believe which I think I think in my opinion is is better than ha having a screw in there or to hold it in to hold it all in so when you're locking and unlocking this it's not going to start unscrewing this out of it some mods it, when you start unlocking and locking it, it unscrews the switch off but with this being a circlip on the bottom to hold the button in it, it's never going to do that so it's gone pretty dark let me just uh, all of a sudden let me just put a light on Oh, sorry about that. It's just gone dark all of a sudden, like we're in for a downpour. So yeah, so we'll put the battery. Up. I'm using a, a CGR 18650 Panasonic in here at the moment. I believe these have got a 10 amp limit on. And if you want all your logo lining up, your serial number lining up on the bottom, you just got to just have it play about with the the contact pin there screw it out a bit this contact pin in here I was telling you is different than on the original on the original it's a uh, silver coated and it's spring loaded now the spring loaded part of it I believe they had some problems with fitments of batteries especially flat tops it did shake about a little bit. I'd seen Grim Green's video on it where he had trouble with some flat tops not fitting very well in here. So this is more of an <coughs> excuse me, more of an advantage over this one is more of an advantage over the spring loaded one with regards to uh, battery fitments, different sizes of batteries. So let's just screw this out. 
and it's just a case of you've got to take it off and on just gain it right first once it's right you, you don't have to mess about with it again until you have put a different size battery in there <coughs> if you go from a flat top to a nipple top then One, little, one more little twist in, I think. So I'm just trying to get the uh, the logo lined up, and it's sitting, it's screwing on flush. That's it. Beautiful. There you go. That's it's flush and nice. It's a stunning device, it's stunning. Right, I've got two pre made, I've got, I've just made these marker coils, nine wraps of 28 gauge cancel. It's going to come out at about, I would say, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 ohms, I think, around about that region. <coughs> the disadvantage with the hybrid is you've got to know what coils you're putting in because you can't test it unless you've got a multimeter and you you put the probes onto the onto the uh at, onto the atomizer itself uh normally you would unscrew your drip and put it on a an ohm meter you can't do this with the with the uh valkyrie because it's it's all attached so what we'll do is Push one of these through. Now, let's have that at the bottom. I have the outside one at the at the bottom. So you have to just straight obviously because you've got uh, one coil, one coil coming off the top of, off the bottom and one coil coming off the top. It is a little bit, like say, squint a little bit, but it's not as squint as if the centre post was lower, the hole was lower. So I'll, I'll straighten that up in a minute. And that's this is how I do it anyway. And then I just push them both in first, straighten the coils out. undo that one a little bit more in the centre first just finding the uh... <coughs> excuse me I hate doing coils on video through. It's a case now of just pulling them. That one's come. That one come over the top of that. It has. Right. Need to pull that middle leg out. So I want it coming. That way. That's it. All right. And you got your two coils. I'm going to uh, obviously push them in a little bit more. What I'll do is I'll screw the outside two up first, that one and that one, and then just get the length right for me 
length of the legs right from the coil. Well, obviously, if you don't want to watch the coiling, you can <coughs> fast forward to where it's all made up. So we'll get to snip some of these off. All I do is put the back in again to straighten the coils out a bit. <coughs> what we'll do is we'll fire them up and then I'll give them a pinch together with some pliers. So we'll see how that's looking. Not too bad at all. Just need to I just need to push put pinch them together. Obviously when you're firing it and you're looking at your coils you want them both to be sort of firing at the same time you know what I mean not firing at the same time now. That's it. Yeah, look. Both glowing up at the same time from the centre out. I mean, it's dead easy to coil. It's dead easy to coil. Uh, putting the marker cores in. Now we'll use some uh, cotton wool balls. Let me cotton wool balls. Two seconds. Cotton 
cotton wool and my bag of cotton wool. I use uh, this organic cotton balls from uh, Holland and Barrett, I think I bought these from. And just unravel the ball. Now you don't with with the when you're putting the cotton in you don't want masses of it. Uh, just want to pull a bit off. You'll get used to how much you you use. Uh, yeah, that might might be a bit too much as well. So. All you do is just get a nice pointy end. So you let your coils cool down before you do it. Before you put them through the coils. Pushing through from the outside in. Still, still needs more rolling to get them through. Once it's through, you can start. Excuse me if I go off camera. Need to uh, twist them, twist and pull. Too much there, really. Still, not too much there. Making a right, fucking pigs here. This call. Just sometimes it uh, you get more than what you expected. So, that's it. There's one through. I just want it so as it's it's not overly tight in there, but you can manoeuvre it side to side. And we'll get another bit. Push the other one from the outside in. There you go. Straight through. And probably till you get some resistance. There you go. Then all you do is just uh, trim it up. I shall trim it off about there and shove that round there in a minute. Trim that off about there and there. Just leaving little bits there and I can uh, try and manoeuvre this around in the uh, atomizer. I'll go back through and underneath with that one I think. Just use a small implement to uh, this one can go in between the posts as well. You haven't got much room on the outside of the post to uh, start putting wet, uh, your cotton wool around. No, it's just a case of uh, manoeuvring it where you can. That's it. And the device. It's 
to do to let the coils get to covered up. This one I've just folded it back on itself. I'm just using the needle. I fold it a bit back so as a bit sits underneath the coils. But you can put the cotton in whichever way you want. Take that round the outside there, I think. If you wetted it a little bit with some of your liquid first, it'd probably be a bit easier. So, obviously, when you've wetted it. There you go. Two coils. Put that in there. Let's have some. Uh, what have we got? Some uh, scopes, raspberry here. Fifty-fifty. Uh, Just wet the cotton up a bit. So I've wetted the, wetted the cotton up a little bit. So if you get some action. And we got some action. I probably need another battery actually now. With the airflow. Uh, I found that the uh, when you're using uh, dual coils, the the coil lineups are uh, perfect for uh, if you just line the uh, the the Valkyrie up. If you just line the Valkyrie up on the on the top cap with the work okay the air holes will be lined up properly for you I'll stick a drip tip on it and there uh, there we go that's how it looks with the drip tip on we'll take a, a vape bloody brilliant Whew. It's a great device. Just put nine drops in there. Put it back on again. So yeah, that's it. Flooded. Coil set up. Flooded a bit.
one thing you will have to do is <coughs> the owl knock your nicotine down this is 18 mil is it 18 yeah 18 milligram it's too strong for these it's uh especially if you're doing the the lungal hits Uh, I think flooded this a little bit to be honest. Put too much in there, so yeah, about seven drops. Right, that's the device then, guys. Uh, any questions or comments uh, put on the underneath the video uh, or uh, on the forum for me uh, but yeah it's a, it's a great device great quality uh, 45 pounds 99p I paid for it uh, but it's superb but thanks for watching guys and uh, thank you